yourself in the cupboard. <laughs> I wasn't going to. I was just thinking about when we were children, that's all. Now I remember you crying your little eyes out when you thought there was no such person as Father Christmas. Yes, and that very evening he spoke to me down the chimney, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I could have got killed getting onto that roof. <laughs> got spanked. Yes, I did. But there you are, you see, it all goes to show that I'm willing to risk life and limb for the dreams of my little sister. Now, that same little sister refuses to take me to the dentist. <laughs> I'm just not prepared to get involved in a brawl, and that's the end of it. Well, it wasn't a brawl. A very fair semblance. I lost my nerve. You always lose your nerve when you go to the dentist. Well, I can't help being afraid. Yes, I know, and I sympathise. It's just that I think you need somebody with more authority than me. How about Mike? No. Why not? Because he thinks of me as a fairy together sort of person. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. And I don't want him to see me all silly. Well, he's got to find out sometime or other. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. Oh, please, Helen. No. Well, when you have children of your own and they stop believing in Father Christmas, don't expect old Aunt Laura to come calling down the chimney, that's all. Mike's doing a smashing job with that turf. You never think it came in separate bits. That's good, isn't he? Yeah. You know, I can get quite interested in gardening. <laughs> well, looking at gardening. <laughs> Who's for a sherry? Oh, thanks, Phil. It's nice to know there's a drop of human kindness left in the world. She wants me to take her to the dentist's. Oh, no. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you see the bruises on her arm last time? I only clung on tightly. You nearly pulled it off. Why don't you ask Mike to take you? But why should everybody say Mike? Mike's the obvious choice. He's a sensible sort of bloke, and uh, you and he are, um... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever knows the right word, do they? What word do you use? We don't. When you're not in the first flush of youth, you don't, do you? <laughs> I think lovers is a nice word. So do I. You can't go around introducing someone to your lover, can you? <laughs> Frienders? Look, we are getting off the subject. And the subject we are getting off is who is going to take me to the dentist tomorrow? I will. I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so irrational, isn't it? So stupid. No. We're all frightened of something, aren't we? What are you frightened of? Have a lunch, is. <laughs> no, not many. Uh, 21, 20, 19. Come on, it'll be all right. Look, this isn't me. I look like me and I sound like me, but it's not me. <laughs>
posh, isn't it? Yes, I come privately because after they dealt with me, I like to pay them personally. <laughs> You'll soon be You're out now. You're out now. Damn! <laughs> You're... You're hurting my hand. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> now then, Mrs. Meadowcroft, twice a day, and don't forget the floss. See you at the same time next week. Mrs. Coleman, we are ready for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> I punched her in the stomach last time. <laughs> Well, not when she came to call you. No, no, in there. They pump you full of stuff, it makes no difference. I'll be a child in a minute. A smiling, unafraid child. I hate them. <laughs> <clears throat> There's yes, something oh, else I'm frightened of. Oh, what's that? Hot fat. Hot fat? Have you, ever been, have you ever been burned by hot fat? No. No. Not very rational, your fears, are they? Is yours? Mine's totally rational. They make hurt me terribly in there, and the pain's going to mix with the fear, and uh, something will go wrong, and I shall probably die. <laughs> and somebody will probably throw hot fat all over me in here. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> if something does go wrong. No, 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 stop, like it, stop, stop it, it, stop it, stop it. Yes. Oh, that's better. It's better. No, go, it's go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Distract me. What? Distract me. Well, how? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Not like that. Well, like what? Well, I don't know. Very well. What are you doing? I'm going to recite Charge of the Light Brigade. <laughs> and I'm going to stand on my head whilst I'm doing it. <laughs> half a league, half a league, half a league onwards. Into the valley of gentlemen. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm doing down there, up here. No, not at all. Miss Dalton, we are ready for you. Are you? Yes, come along. Yes, come along. Ah, you will take great care of her, won't oh, you? Oh, of course. There's absolutely nothing to be frightened of. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs> Goodbye, Mike. Uh, Goodbye, Laura. <laughs> Goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Laura. <laughs> Sorry to have been so long. Why? What's the matter? What's happened? Nothing. It was just a little filling. How many? One. Yes, but she... Yes, a... I know. Oh, she is all right, isn't she? Yes, of course. She's a little bit woozy. Mr. John had to give her rather a full dose. <laughs> she has been uh, resting, but um, it's getting rather late now. And we would like to go home. That is, if you think you can manage. Oh, yes, of course. I'll look after her. Well, would you like me to call you a taxi? No, 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 no. I've got the van outside. <laughs> I'll bring her in then. <laughs> there you are. Here's your um, uh, friend. Friend. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> Hello, Laura. Hello. Uh, is, uh, is, is, is this the... Uh... Oh, yes. She's coming down now. <laughs> hello, Michael. Hello, hello, hello. Laura. You'll be very tired very soon. Uh, <laughs> uh, does she, does she have, have to come she... back at all? Not for a very long time, I <laughs> Hello, Michael. Uh, hello, Laura. Thank you. I'll show you out. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've got to get in a van and go home. No, no, let's, let's go home. Yes. That's a good idea. Oh, you're 
Bushy, you are. I'm a devil. You naughty little devil. <laughs> Go before go. you go to bed. Yes, talky. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not tonight. I know, a, I know, I know, a, I know a dog with one ear in talky. <laughs> he could hear perfectly with his one ear. Yes, good. good. Yes. Now, in you get. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go. No, I'm not. <laughs> going. Stay. I am. Stay. <laughs> Just let's uh, get you in first. <laughs> Where? Torquay. His name was Harold. The dog. <laughs> yes. Harold Dog. Yes. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, you're a little clever. No, no, no. Just you get into bed. <laughs> yes, Michael. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> now, will you do as you're told? Stop messing about. You know what I want to do now? Yeah, it's good to talk here to see Harold the dog. No. Come here and I'll whisper. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a little devil, you are. I always feel like crying after one of your dinners. It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> you knew it wasn't. It's just the thought of destroying something so perfect. Well, there was a bribe, actually. Oh, well, I'm bribed. What do you want? Well, we wanted if you'd house sit for us this weekend. House sit? Mm. Yes, well, Phil's got to go to Dieppe for the weekend. And just in case he harboured any thoughts of taking his secretary with him, I thought I'd go along too and we'd Dieppe together, so to speak. Oh, I see. We'll bring you back a clove of garlic or something. <laughs> yeah, well, well, why not? Uh, just give me a key and I'll pop around a couple of times. No, we meant, would you actually move in for the weekend? It's burglars, you see. Helen worries. Phil worries. Uh, well, we worry. But if you were staying here... Well, both of us. Yes, of course, both of you. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to bring round. He wouldn't. It's all here, the stuff. Well, I thought I might do a bit of work this weekend. Where? Well, I thought I'd finish off your lawn. <laughs> I'm just outside the window. I'd have thought that was quite convenient. <laughs> oh, yes, there is that. <laughs> Please, Laura. Well... Uh, no, 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 forget it. We're pressuring them. No, we're not. No, we're not. Look, we'll go into the kitchen and you two can talk it over, OK? Anyway, I'm sure we could find someone else. I'm sure we couldn't. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I don't know. I'm not too keen. Uh, other people's houses. I'm always afraid I'll damage the cistern. <laughs> Well, strange loos never seem to work for me. <laughs> I usually finish up on the seat, fiddling about with the system. We can't really say no, though, can we? No, I suppose not. Look, Mike, she's my sister. You don't have to stay here. No, 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 no. I, I couldn't leave you alone in a strange house. <laughs> well, you can bring us a bottle of wine, some cheese as well. I knew you'd say yes. Yes, I knew you knew. And all that for a little sister who wouldn't even take me to the dentist on Monday. Oh, I never did ask you. How did you get on? Well, I don't think they want me back. <laughs> she wasn't all that bad. What did she do afterwards? She didn't want to learn to play the banjo, did she? <laughs> banjo. Well, it's, uh, there's nothing to tell. You were just a bit high-spirited, high, high that's all. <laughs> I salute you in the name of France. <laughs> and how's it cognac? <laughs> Oh, whilst I think about it, could you tell me where the stopcock is? <laughs> Why you want to know where the stopcock 
cock is full. <laughs> well, I might have to turn the water off at some time. <laughs> All right, I'll show you. <laughs> He's got a thing about cisterns. <laughs> Cheese. It's nice and squashy. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. See you Monday. Bye, Phil. Bye. For this evening. Oh, Helen. How oh, sweet. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're right. You look a bit tense. No, no, no. It's just going to be funny being with Mike in a strange house. Oh, I find that rather exciting. Would you? <laughs> well, not with Mike. What do you to sound like that? Well, you know what I mean. Actually, I find strange bedrooms rather sexy. <laughs> hey, come on, Phoebe. All right, jump Pierre. <laughs> See what I mean? Well, if we won't let you in when you get back, you'll know you're right. Go on. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Paris loves lovers. For lovers, it's heaven above. They've gone to Dieppe. <laughs> Dieppe loves lovers. For lovers, <laughs> it's heaven above. <clears throat> I think I'll have a cigar. You don't smoke? Oh, the odd one, you know. Special occasion. <laughs> they don't draw very well, these, do they? Aren't you meant to cut the end off? Well, oh, that's good thinking. Yes, well, I think, I think I'll, um, <coughs> I'll save that for another time. Paris. For someone who love. feels uncomfortable in strange houses, you seem almost proprietorial. Ah, it's a nice house. It's a, it's an easy sort of house. Would you like another brandy? No, oh, thank you. Oh, I think I may. You've already had three. Oh, who's counting? I am. <laughs> You're rather school marmish tonight. Who well, is supposed to be looking after this house? Oh, what do you want? What, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> do you want me to whiz around with the vacuum cleaner? Or, or perhaps I could rent a couple of Dobermans and patrol the garden all night. <laughs> Don't be silly. Uh, all right. These, aren't they? Yeah, terrific when you're trying to work. Ah, oh, don't work. Nice sheets on the bed. <laughs> what? Oh, um, nice colour. Uh, warm. Oh, sort of colour of leaves on a 
Japanese cherry tree. I wonder what colour you call that. Brown. Yes, brown. Now look, now look. There's a film on television. An old one? Yes. 1944, The Enchanted Cottage. Oh, good. Half an hour yet. Would you like to watch show jumping? No, I would not <laughs> like to watch show jumping. No, I'm sorry, Mike. I have no excuse. It's just this strange house. I'm... I'm not very good at playing away from home. <laughs> not a very well-chosen expression, is it? <laughs> Shame we didn't come straight from the dentist. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, uh, um, uh, if, you, if you must know, uh, um, afterwards you were very, very... What? Uh, well, all right, you were very sexy. Oh, I see. I mean, you weren't like you at all. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I, I didn't right. mean to say I that. should uh, arrange another visit to the dentist. Or perhaps I could get high on a couple of Rennies. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I, I meant funny sexy. Fine. Throw in a paper hat and a red nose as well. <laughs> I knew you'd get it wrong if I told you. No, all I'm saying is that simply, under the influence of whatever they gave you at the dentist afterwards, before you flaked out, you were... Rather frisky. Like a horse. Stop it. <laughs> For goodness sake, I am not advocating the use of artificial stimulants as a route to high passion. Why not? They seem to work for you. I fail to grasp your implications. Well, strange house, brown sheets, a couple of brandies, and you start behaving like a second-rate Rudolph Valentino. Oh. Well, thanks very much. Not at all. Well, I'm going off to bed to watch the film. Well, I don't fancy that. Well, you don't have to. There's not a television in the spare room. Good night. <laughs> Circles around the planks and comes up now before he turns back for the start for Derek's final round. He could do with a good maximum here just to finish up. His scores so far, 38, 38, 33, another 38, and the last round is well. Whoa! Good evening, I am the Sheik. <laughs> you haven't seen a couple of camels pass through here, have you? <laughs> oh, that was crafty. Cats are while laughing, that's my motto. Oh, it was a cheap crack, Mike. Yeah, so is mine. I met yours. <laughs> so was mine. I'm glad you galloped up the corridor. Oh, still got my slippers on. <laughs> yes, so am I. Is the horse all right? Yes, I parked him in the spare bedroom. <laughs> Have you locked up? Yes. Didn't leave a cigar burning? No, I couldn't even get it to work. <laughs> Let's watch the film. Are you sure? Yeah, if I don't like it, I can always nod off. <laughs> Another late night movie The Enchanted Cottage with Robert Young and Dorothy McGuire. This film is the story of two people, Oliver and Laura, awkward to the world, who find a special beauty in each other when they spend the weekend in an enchanted cottage. Hello, Ollie. A fine romance with no pinches. They think we're like a couple of hot tomatoes But we're as cold as yesterday's mashed potatoes A fine romance with no wrestling A fine romance with no nestling We two are just as prickly as cactus plants Love hasn't got a chance this is a fine romance. 